So the Millimeter Wave Networks project group was launched at uh, MWC Americas in September of 2017 with the fundamental goal of bringing together a community to solve all the challenges that we face in Millimeter Wave Networks and help accelerate the actual development of the technology and take it to the next level. We started with the objective of looking at kind of the technical challenges, figuring out what operators need to understand of the technology, make sure that they have a viable part to commercialize this. Alongside, figure out all the business case challenges that exist for this technology, which is not yet fully understood, and make sure that we can drive to a good understanding of what the capex and the opex portions of actually deploying this technology are. And finally, leverage our efforts in the community lab space where we can help incubate some of these technologies and help operators actually learn about it. We, when we launched the project group, we did this uh, with the support of Deutsche Telekom. Andreas Gladisch, my co-chair from Deutsche Telekom, has been a big proponent of this entire effort from day one. And they have been instrumental in actually setting up the first TIP community lab for millimeter wave networks in Berlin. And thereafter, they've actually led the charge to actually do the first commercial trials with millimeter wave technology at their trial locations in Hungary. For us, there was massive interest to bring it as quickly as possible into field trials, get some customer experience with it. So we started uh, offering a community lab built in Berlin. Uh, then uh, we started the first field trial in uh, Hungary um, earlier this year and just uh, right now in the second location. So the first one was Mika Buda, close to Budapest. The second is a city called Mirko, also close to Budapest, just in the other direction, a little bit more urban environment. And uh, so far we have connected uh, 40 customers, even the second trial in record time. So this is a really great achievement from Magia Telekom, Facebook and Deutsche Telekom working to together to make that happen. So the Facebook connectivity effort uh, actually began working on millimeter wave technologies three years ago with the building of Telegraph, which is actually one of the technologies that we've heavily invested in. And what we're trying to do is take our efforts in that space with Telegraph, where we've actually invested a fair amount of effort to bring that to the TIP community, make sure that we can share our learnings with the community, make sure we can bring OEM vendors, system integrators, and operators together to take this technology to the next level and bring it to actually the masses, essentially deliver gigabit broadband at a significantly lower cost for the future. So we started our efforts with trying to bring together the community to understand how do you validate millimeter wave technology. So that's one area of big emphasis. We've actually released documents that put together what does it take to actually validate a new radio technology and how do you actually evaluate millimeter wave networks in both in lab environments as well as fields. So that's been one area of focus. The second is actually building simplified business models and we've actually shared that with the community. And these are now being used by operators across the globe to evaluate how millimeter wave can be an alternate to fiber or copper technologies wise relative to DSL or cable. And we've actually established community labs, which we are now actually using not only to help people understand the technology, but also see how it can work in the different deployment environments. So people are doing channel sounding work. We actually contributed uh, work coming out of Facebook, which went into the community labs, and is actually helping operators learn about how millimeter wave propagation works, how does it work in different environments such as rain, typhoons, uh, snow, and actually take that data and actually make better decisions on how to deploy this, and how to make it a robust technology. So one of the big areas of focus is actually to bring all the operators together to take their learnings from trials, whether it's in the lab, whether it's in the field, and actually share that with the broader community. So that's one key area of emphasis. The second is actually to bring operators together to actually issue RFIs therefore sending a demand signal to the industry, which is crucial in order for actually having RFPs and actually the procurement process to begin for millimeter of technology to commercialize. The third is to actually make sure that when we set up these labs, operators feel comfortable collecting data and sharing this much more broadly and covering various aspects, whether it's interference concerns, whether it's uh, working in different channel environments, making sure that, that can be done at scale. And, and lastly, just making sure that we have a path to take all the learnings that we have and establishing a framework to share that with the broader community. So these are our areas of emphasis for 2019 and we really look forward to the community working together to bring this technology to scale.